I was living in Detroit with my parents, and then I met him there in 2003. So. Okay, like where did you guys meet? Uh, we met, um, it's, you know, everything is like a joke, funny for me. So we met at a club. Okay. <laughs> And the first day we met, um, the first time we met, he's like, I'm going to marry you one day. And I was like, oh, what? whatever. Really? Yeah. And so. It's so rubbish, though, really. Right? He's like, he's like, you're going to be my wife. That's what he said. You're going to be my wife one day. I was like, oh, really? I am. And I don't know. I'm the um, weird girl that, like, liked that line. So I was like, oh, I'm going to call him. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> but um, at the time, he was working for Kent State. He was working. Okay. There. So he was in town. Um like visiting because he's from Detroit and yeah. I was just there we just happened to get this party and we kind of ran into each other okay. and when we were dating and engaged we didn't live in the same state he lived in Ohio and okay. then I lived in Michigan so this is not our first go round with this with this, with this split uh, <laughs> right. cities okay right and so how has it gone with you and Rob I mean has it been uh, obviously he's, he's there by himself right because you're yes. with his kids and uh, what's it like for him what's it like for you uh, well okay so for me it's ideal <laughs> being a woman you know I can see him on the weekends I don't have to cook during the week I can make chicken nuggets and fish right. sticks and Right. You know, like right. kid stuff and not worry about it. Right. I only have to wash our clothes. You know, this right. probably sounds really selfish. Um, and, and it's, you know, Lord forgive me, I'm married. I know other women will understand. It's just a lot easier to just have to worry about myself and the kids and not another person and say, okay, are you okay too? You know, it's kind of nice to just focus on us three. Um, and then when he comes on the weekend, it's fun time and we go out and do things and it's great. And so he comes back every weekend? Well, this, since it's been the off season, yeah, he has pretty much. So answer, now yeah. he doesn't come as much. It's very hard on our kids, extremely hard on our kids, especially our son. Our daughter, we moved here when she was three, so she, this is basically kind of like all she's ever known. She's six now. Um, so it's not as hard on her, but it's really hard on my son, who's nine. And he misses Rob. Yes, he misses Rob. He's like, when are we moving back together? You know, yeah. it's hard on him. It's hard on Rob. Rob is he doesn't like it he says you know you don't understand because you're not coming home and you're by yourself right, right. i come home i'm by myself you come home you have the kids and somebody he goes like i'm in an empty he lives in a condo a two-bedroom condo so he doesn't he's like you know all these he's like he always reminds me of the sacrifices he makes for me <laughs> and i said well one day you know we will be you never you know because we don't plan to do this forever but yeah. i just needed to come here and get experience under my belt so you know hopefully when he moves to another school or goes to the NBA or does whatever he wants to do, then I can be yeah, able to get a job there. Yeah, so. yeah. And I mean, you did, you were um, a stay-at-home mom for right. uh, many eight years. years. For, yes. Yeah, so I mean, you, you paid your dues. Right, he's like, yes! You know, you did. <laughs> you did. Exactly, so. Um, so now it's your it's just, turn. Yeah, it's my turn. It's and, he, and, he, and he is very supportive. And what do you like about Bridge Street? I like, what I like about Bridge Street is I get to be myself. I get to be myself. Um, and I, I just really enjoy being able to show all the people, all the viewers, like what Central New York has to offer. Because that's why I came back. People are like, "You're crazy. Why would you come back here? You could have gone anywhere." And I'm like, "I love Central New York. This is a great place to raise a family." Um, some people think there's not a lot of culture here, but if you get out and you do things, um, there is. And this show showcases that. It showcases all the great things that Central New York has to offer.